Hi all, Cynthia here, welcome. Today I'm doing a 12 by 12 process layout using two 3 by 4 photos. This one here is of me and I'm just backing it on an old piece of white cardstock that I had. And the other one is of a screenshot of a movie that we went to saw. So this layout is all about a movie. And they just saw me showing you that this kit is from the Scrappery Kit Club. And it would be their March kit. So I've just gone through the papers that I have here, picking out a couple of papers I thought I might use. And I definitely want to use that orange flowers because there's a bit of an orange in that photo of me. And then I've decided to use this specialty paper from Kaiser Craft. And I think it's from their Oh So Lovely collection. And the paper is called Lady. So I've fussy cut out some of these orange flowers from this paper. And now I go ahead and start working on putting the layout together. So this second little photo is the movie that we went to watch was Lion, which is based on a true story of a fella that now lives in Tasmania and it was a wonderful movie so I thought I would scrap that we went to watch this and this is just the write-up about what the movie is about so I thought that would be a fantastic thing to document and this photo is of me without any makeup because I was very wise and didn't wear any because I was advised that it was a tad sad so I thought mm, I know myself I cry at the drop of a hat when it comes to movies so I decided that I'd be wise so here I am just doing some spray mist on the background because this paper's sort of got a glossy feel to it I didn't worry about putting any sort of gesso on the page just sprayed straight onto the page I love how this blue turned out so I'm just spraying it around adding some water to make it run it's spreading really nice across the page blotting up some excess and now I've dried it off and you can see those flowers they just absolutely like they resisted the ink so the flowers have this beautiful white outline to them and there's like the background paper is a blue this you'll see that in the close-ups at the end it's absolutely beautiful the way it worked out my oh see i didn't want that to spray right down in that corner so that really threw the whole design out going way down there so I have to figure out now well, how am I going to go about that I'm going to have to make sure it goes up into the other corner to make it look somewhat even it wasn't the look I was going for but you just you know, go with the flow so I put the blue down I put the pictures and everything back on and decide mm, I think I'd also need to put a little bit of this orange in the background and I get to that soon and I don't think it worked that well probably spoiled it a little bit but I pushed on and go with it because what else can I do so I put it on there and I think it's a little bit dark but if I sort of avoid the blue areas, I'm thinking the nice orange will be quite lovely, and it is, but it also sort of goes a brown colour, which if you probably know your colour wheels, which I really don't that well, 
you would know that. So I'm not really liking the look the way that comes out and I try not to put too much of it on. And now I just sort of start shuffling a few things around deciding how I want it to, to look. Decided that as the background is got that brown tinge to it now, well maybe I should go with that and so I ink the edges of these flowers to sort of give them a little bit of definition on the page and also to go with that, sort of, I don't know what that feel is that that does to it, which I don't know why I do that because I'm not a very big one for making the edges dark. I like light and bright pages, but you know, well, I thought I'd give it a bash and see what happens. Never know if you don't try. So now I'm deciding that I need to put something a bit brighter on here. So I pull out these um, chevron arrow strips and cut off two strips, one to put at the bottom, one to put at the top. Also, I felt like the page was floating a little bit, so I um, helped that sort of ground it a little bit. Went through some embellishments and pulled out some stuff that I thought I might put on this layout. And if any of you don't know the story of this movie, Lion, it's about a young boy that lived in India and he got lost one day and he was about five I think at the time and he couldn't find his way home fell asleep on the train and well I didn't fall asleep on the train but anyway was on a train ended up a long 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 way away from where he lived and could never find his way home so he was ended up adopted out to a family in Tasmania and it's about his story of how he reconnected with his family again, which is a wonderful story. Hence why I've put the aeroplane on the page, because obviously he flew from, first from India to Tasmania, then back to India a couple of times later in his life. And also the bike is there because a part of the movie um, he was riding a, bri a bike with his brother, so I thought that might represent a little bit about the movie. But the bike doesn't end up making it on the page. Here I am using my new tape runner, um, which oh, I had some issues with when I first got it. And I had to put out a please help me on one of the Facebook groups that I'm in. How do I make this thing work? And a few of them gave me some tips on how to make sure I go nice and slow and hold it down nice and level. And since then, touch wood, it's worked fine. Inking up the edges of the chevron paper to match the flowers, but I really don't ink anything else. So which is quite common of me. I can have half the papers inked if I ever do ink and the rest of the stuff not inked. Because I think it starts to make it a, look, a little bit too dark, so I don't like that. Put this little tag down that says kindness, random acts of kindness. And I think that's so appropriate. Um, about this movement as he was adopted by some random people in Tasmania so it worked very well. Of course there's some black on the page because the black and white photo that I have there I'm trying to add a couple of black elements as well. So I have this leaf and then I have this little butterfly or half of the butterfly um, I try to use that but it doesn't actually end up making it to the page. There's very little on this page actually 
in the end the background does most of the has most of the impact other than of course the photo and my journaling seeing how I can put a third flower in got it sort of up the top but I'd also want to put a little piece down the bottom as well and this really is how the layout nearly ends up looking I shuffle these around but it does end up down the bottom there underneath pull out some black embellishments so as you can see I store all my ephemera by colour so I've just gone through and pulled out some black bits that I thought might work decided that I now want to move that leaf over to there which I don't like so I end up taking straight back thought I might try to use that love this but it didn't work and I have that other aeroplane paper clip down there which I want to put on as well but I really do struggle to use paper clips and this one doesn't want to go on the way that I want it to face but in the end I do make it work I get it on there pull out this film strip that I have I thought that'd be very appropriate as it is a movie as I've said so I put one on each side and I really like the way that looks and I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to get my other um, black areas so I can sort of have a couple of black embellishments on the page and I pull out a die cut which is a big geo tag and it says I love this so I put that on the left hand side of the page over there beside my photo and where the aeroplane is I tuck it in there so that now I have two embellishments that are the black and in the end I just put a black title down which says tissues required because the movie was quite sad well not sad happy and sad at the same time had a, had it all in it so and I just reposition that film strip up a little bit now tuck it in there making it look just perfect tape the other one down on the other side shuffle everything around <clears throat> this is where I managed to put that paper clip on just there on a little piece of vellum that says um, my story which once again I thought was quite appropriate because it's a, a true story and I do try a few other things but it doesn't work thinking 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 not really like in the background 100 percent it's a little bit too brown for me so how am i overcoming that and i get out my watercolors and i paint some nice bright blues and orange onto the back and i like the way that has really changed brightened up the page and then in the close-ups you'll see once again how the actual flower on the page has resisted the colour so they have this beautiful white flowers and it's really just the black background that is takes the colour of the paint looks really nice so I do that in a few different spots around the page and then I pull out the orange and I do the same with the orange and then once that's done I go ahead and do my journaling and why that's happening I'll read what my journaling says 
So date night with date night, sorry. Charlie and I saw Lion. All the reviews said tissues were a must in the second half. I can tell you I started well before then. What a wonderful, heartwarming movie. Five stars. So that was just the journaling I wrote about this page. Something that I'm really trying to improve on is my journaling and telling a story and documenting how I'm feeling about things. I've been very, in the past I'm very much here we are at the beach or enjoying this day. I'm trying my hardest to extend myself. And put a little bit more in-depth journaling on the page. I won't do it on every page, but I'll certainly do it on some of the pages. And here it is, I put my journaling down. So it's pretty much coming to the end. So thank you very much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like. And hope to see you next time. Bye.